Recently, we saw Man of Steel. Yes, we did. In Braintree mm -hmm. at the most amazing theater. Yes. It's first of all, you get in line, you get your tickets, you pick your seats. Yes. It's like when you're getting like, like an airplane ticket. Yeah. You know, you like you pick like you want the you window see, like, seat. The whole yeah, yeah. Seating. It's map. Crazy. Yeah. I didn't know what to think at first. I was like, what, what gonna, are we getting know, into? Right? Yeah. You feel locked in. Like, what if I don't like it once I'm yeah. in? Locked in your seats, and then you go in. And it's it's a it's recliners. There are these. Beautiful. Recliners. Yeah, and the, not not like like when you're in a bus, and it goes no, like and, it just and goes like back. It goes beep. No, they're like you'd have in your yeah, house this level. Is like, yeah, they're wide, like, and you push a button. Yeah, it's it's all electronic. Yeah. It's almost like you get to a point. It's like you're really just laying down, mm -hmm. like flat. Yeah, it's really cool. You could you There's I could have went to sleep. Holder. Yeah. It's a good thing we, we didn't. I did not go to sleep in either. Yes, movies. which you yeah, have I a do previous have a problem films. with sleep. Never. I have a busy schedule. Mm. With my job. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be places. You don't. You just, I have to be here. Like, sit. I just sit. I'm here too. I just sit. I've got like two full time I just, like, jobs. I just sit there. You do. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> That's how I imagine you in my mind at home. Well, thank you. That's <laughs> really, really nice to hear. <laughs> just picture you just sitting there, your mouth yeah, then, gaped open, for your flies flying in. Then you check up on Facebook. Like birds take some pictures of yourself. <laughs> cook a couple of burgers, and you're good to go. Man of Steel. You didn't have to put pants on today. <laughs> You do Which brag about does, wearing your jammies all the time. That's not. Like I just nights. wear a shirt. I don't wear pajamas. Jesus Christ, your poor family. <laughs> Why? Because you go outside and piss in your front yard. That's so, so bizarre. What's, it's, it's not so, really in the I yard. I thought it was weird enough when you were talking about pissing outside, and I thought you meant out back. And you're like, no, it's out. For, what? I feel like a dog. Go outside. It's so. Do you nice. train like that as a child? No. I'm like, go outside, Neil. Good boy. Come back when you're done. Thank you, Biscuit. Men out there, <laughs> back me up on this. Yeah. Bad Those who don't the ones are, the, are the ones that need to man up. Yeah. Uh, no. This is a freaking epitome of man right here. I'm not there. <laughs> you know me. I'm a freak. I'm that's, a freak. that's one of the best qualities that I like in the dude. Yeah, well, you know that's what I'm all about. It's true. It's true. Yes. Sometimes it's hard to be around you because the machismo is so strong. Mm. It, pushes, it pushes on my... Uh, my womanliness, and I have to, I have to contain myself and walk away. Macho, macho man. man. Speaking of macho, that's a very macho song, and I like the macho man. <laughs> you feel English like you moment. feel one with nature. You go up there. You can there. go for fucking walk and feel one Strange. with nature. You feel you the go breeze. to the beach. The, yeah, you could go for a hike, perhaps. <laughs> I time I went out there and there's freaking coyote on my. On my. On yeah, my deck. It happens. Just Coyotes looking at me, one on one. I ran back in the house. Well, I didn't run. I walked back. Like backwards. a baby. <laughs> no, it was, it was mutual respect. Except babies don't run, war, which means you crawl. Let's bring a warrior to warrior. And I was like, <laughs> in Coyote. <laughs> you remember, okay, Highlander? You've seen this movie, right? Of course. Where he, like, the looks at the horse. The yes. And then he, like, becomes a horse or something, and they're running down the beach. That's you and the Coyote. Looked at <laughs> so each you're other. you a Coyote. We nodded. We were like... We squared off. Yeah, we're like warrior, warrior. We respect each other. Mm -hmm. Mutual respect. This is yours. This is mine. So basically there's you can no, piss on the deck. There's no need to battle. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, we shared a moment. Deck. So Man of Steel. I've been looking forward to this for a long yes. time. I have personal reasons, associations with uh, friends of my past. So I was really looking forward to seeing this yeah. movie. I was really looking forward to it too. Yeah, it looked gorgeous. I had just, high, and I don't really go into a lot of movies with big expectations. Yeah. <laughs> you've seen what happens when we go yeah. see some movies. Before we get to the review, let's describe some of this experience okay. that we had. Yes, enjoyed. yes, yes. Which I do think uh, will probably take away from my overall enjoyment of the film. I don't know any of the words, unfortunately. <laughs> a man of many talents. Can I just can, can I just scat during karaoke? A talent to pretend you have talents. Oh, hush, kush. 
sweet. Beautiful. They wonderful, really we can't put them over enough. They're big seats. Wonderful. They're, they go all the way back. Your feet are so up. So nice. Neil was on my left, and it was full all the way down. Big theater. And on directly next to him, I could see movement. Yeah, not just like hands. Like black level. Yeah. Mo movement. Feet. Yeah. There was a little girl, and she would flip over so her head was by where your feet would feet. be, and, the, and her feet would be up, which yeah. is, you know, by my head. And it's like, that's rude. I'm going to put out my PSA. Uh-huh. Please, dear God, it's none of my business what you do as a parent. But, for Christ's sakes, if you go in a, in a movie theater, the other people around you paid a good amount of money to go enjoy that movie. They didn't pay a good amount of money to listen to or be distracted by right. you or your child. So you can take care of it by effective parenting skills. You could decide to not bring your child. And any of those things, so long as you are not disrupting the people around you. You need to remember what it was like for you before you had children. Right. Because yeah. at some point in time... You were, me and Neil, thinking, what the fuck is wrong with you? Deal with the child. So that's my PSA. Please be a responsible yeah. parent when other so, people suffer the consequences of your being an irresponsible I parent. I agree. I agree with you. Yeah, it's not your kid's fault. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I said to Neil, do you want me to say And he's, no, no, because he's too nice. No, no, no. And the kid, oh, fucking, it's pissing me off, really. I was really pissed. So I think I leaned over you first and said, yeah. hey, do something about this. I, and I know Neil's so nice. You are. He's not going to say anything. So I say to him, I'm going to fucking... Because we have notes, right? We take yeah, notes we, during all Yeah, so we know what's going on. I'm going to take a fucking piece of paper and throw it at her. Not the kid, the mom. Get her attention. And I was looking at Neil. Neil's laughing at me, I think thinking that I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm really doing this. And I whipped it. Anyway, Annabelle reaches over me and starts, you know, she's like, do something about your kid. Why are you yelling at her? And then as she, and Annabelle's <laughs> like, I'm not yelling at her. <laughs> you take care of. Yeah. And, I'm uh, looking at you. Yeah. I was looking her directly in the eyes and I called her ignorant. Yes. I told yeah. her she's an ignorant parent. Yeah. And I, don't and think I she... was kind of like over Neil. So yeah. I'm pretty sure I was at that point disrupting the people behind me. But there's no, that kid was probably distracting everyone. Oh, yeah. Me. So mad. I really thought there was... I don't really like. I'm not a person that gets into fights, but I was I was preparing in <laughs> uh, my mind for a yeah. fight. That's to start training for fights now, in case in case we we're breaking the brawl. That's how I didn't flinch. Is that how? Because you know I'm too nice. No, so I didn't true. flinch. I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 the opening I thought was great. They really spent a lot of time. On Krypton, mm -hmm. and they uh, they really did a good job of making it seem like a totally alien world. Just the everything about it, the animals there, the the technology, everything just seemed, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it was. It looked amazing. And the CG, it, like there was a lot of CGI. Yeah, but I mean, good. almost exclusively CGI, really. Uh -huh, in that, the but yeah, it was. Lots of whole movie, it, I mean, yeah, that's true, and it was gorgeous. I mean, I I'm not. There's CGI people, like, some of the stuff in The Lord of Rings, everybody... See, I think The Lord of the Rings raves. is great, yeah. I think for the most part it is. There's something... There's not a lot, but there are some things I really think are not not good. See, this well, was Yeah, in my opinion, amazing. If, you have a, um, if you have a good movie, the CGI can add to it if it's done well. Mm -hmm. If you just base your whole movie off CGI, no matter how good or bad it is, it's... A, it's if it's a bad movie, it's still a bad movie. Yes. yes. But this wasn't, I mean... Yeah, any kind of special really effects is, should so be good. should add to a movie, yes. not be the movie. Not just be like Transformers. Yeah, see, that, to me, that that's a horrendous, like horrendous that. movie. Any Michael Bay. Yeah, that's just sad that those make so much. Just ex yeah. mindless explosions. That's something do not yeah. recommend. Just because they introduce uh, Zod pretty much right away. Yeah. What's that actor's name? I'm sure, but I'm a huge fan of his. He's on, great. Uh, He's on uh, Boardwalk he's Empire. He's got a great voice. It's yeah, a unique he's got voice. an amazing look too. Yeah, he's very distinctive looking. Dude. Yeah, yeah. And he play, He's just. He was great. Mm -hmm. And I and I, I like the the playoff between him and uh, Jarrell's man of science. 
uh, Zod is he's he's the military guy, and even though both of them agree that uh, the Krypton is handling this the wrong way because their 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 whole planet is dying, mm-hmm. and uh, both of them agree that they have to get off the planet and uh, save save their people, but they have different ways of looking how they should go about this. And Zod just comes in and he uh, he kills uh, he kills. Yeah, he just the, wants to take over the council yeah. and mm-hmm. just. But I like that because a military coup. They're really not. That much different. It's yeah. It's just the approach. Yeah. I mean, like most human beings in the world, everybody mm-hmm. wants the same thing. They just have. Fucked yeah. Up but they didn't just make him just this total evil dude, just no being a jackass. He they they, they both wanted they yeah. both wanted the best for for he their people. He had his reasons. Yeah. Jarrell and Laura, they also had um. Kal-el, which is uh, which is Superman, mm-hmm. and uh, the baby, the baby, and this was the first uh, natural born Kryptonian. Yeah. In, in centuries. Yeah, they show like a room that's very Matrix-like, where it's got like this bubbles. It's like looking at those seaweeds with bubbles. Yeah. That you pop. Yeah. It's like a grape kind of. And if they... you don't live by the ocean, I'm sorry, you are not going <laughs> to get that reference. We're ocean dwellers. Yeah. Folk. We're the Mer- merman. People. Yes. <laughs> Basically, they they breed people to do specific yeah. jobs, and that's what they do. Like and... in uh, Brave New World. Yes. It's very much like that. Yes. That you have, you design the people that when they are born, they go do this thing. Mm-hmm. So like Zod says later, I don't, I don't think it's bad to bring this up now. No, he he was born and he and was not just born. He was bred. He was created to be a warrior. And specifically, he said to do anything to defend yeah. and promote Krypton and Kryptonians. Yeah, to me that really made him like Hal from uh, 2001. Yeah, that's the way he was designed. Mm-hmm. He can't do anything about it. They wanted their son, their son, to be to have the freedom to choose his own path in life. Yes. So he shipped him off to his alien planet that had similar conditions. Yeah. To on, sure. To and they knew like that die. he he would have more. He would be more powerful for them because of the atmosphere. Did they know the all gravity. that stuff? Yeah. She, he says it right at the beginning. He says all that because of the gravity and the atmosphere. Because she's worried that they'll kill him. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, he yeah. said, "Well, he'll actually be a god." To them. I thought this uh, Superman definitely was the most science this fiction. What? This Men of Steel. Well, this Superman tale. Okay. Because I'm comparing it to the I'm other just Superman. You shit you keep giving it to me. Well, there is no other Superman movie. There is no other Man of Steel movies. I'm comparing this to other Superman tales that I've seen in the past, and this one was the most science fiction like of all of the previous tellings of Superman. It may. It, I, I made. I made a point. It was valid, and. Um, this is very rude, and I'm an actor, <laughs> talking head. Blah, 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 blah. Do the one that makes me feel like I feel like when I'm with you. When I'm alone with you. I want you to realize how nice I am to you. Hear that. Did you do something? I moved the mic so it's picking you up. Aww. Mm-hmm. That's very nice. And I haven't tilted it so it's getting a little bit more you. Thank you. Sacrificing. You do have a, a projective voice. It's hmm. very manly. <laughs> <laughs> they send uh, their child to Earth who's to become Superman. They kind of fast forward. Is Superman is is an adult and he's uh, he's on like a barge and he's saving people. And then it, it cuts back to a uh, childhood, and then it kind of it kind of go, goes around. Uh, on a previous review, I was kind of against this, but the more I thought about it, I think it probably was the way to go. Because um, instead of just showing his whole childhood, they go back and show moments that made Superman Superman. <laughs> <laughs> this is from yeah. Strawberry Shortcake. Uh, I never watched Strawberry Shortcake. Yeah. See, that's totally you. <laughs> Cooking food and being uh, ridiculous. Being the man. <laughs> yes, if there's one thing we know, it's what's hip with the children. <laughs> Strawberry the shortcake. The youth of America. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's the demographic we, we appeal to the yes. most. Yes, Voltron. They're going back and forth. They're showing him as an adult doing his stuff. Superman. Superman, because he, he has this thing. He wants, to, he wants to help people. Yeah, he can't help himself. Mm-hmm. He really can't. Superman is a lot like me. Just so good that... He just can't help himself from helping others and not not thinking about his own well-being. That's kind of true. 
I know you're saying it to be facetious, but mm -hmm. it's kind of true. Man of steel, are you? Man of marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> horrible. <laughs> Jared, do you remember Marshmallow? No. <laughs> Who's that? What is that? It was a, it was a brand of uh, hot chocolate. Really? And it had, all, it had like extra marshmallows, and so that sounds good. so he was Marshall Mallow. That's awesome. And like it, it, it wouldn't be proud of that. It was awesome, yeah. That's and it cool. came with little stickers, and it was like little it was like no. badges or like puffy stickers. Wow. Man so man, are we still talking about that? Yes. Yeah, so oh, okay. The so what happened this, next? The point of this for you're gonna video. chop this one. One of my issues with the movie is yeah. yes. They're an old spaceship that was uh, sent there, actually, uh, apparently way before Superman came here. I thought they jettisoned Superman into space. They did. By himself as a BB. Yeah. But this spaceship that they go to has been there for like 110,000 years. That's weird, yeah. And it's basically the, the, the Fortress of Solitude. Yes. And I know that the movie changes, not changes, but it's a different different take on on a lot of the Superman lore that I know anyway. Yes. And they don't, they don't call it the Fortress of Solitude, but to me it's a Fortress of Solitude. And the first time they're there, it's one thing later on if you've seen it a bunch of times, but the first time I, he's at the Fortress of Solitude, mm -hmm. it's called the Fortress of Solitude, mm -hmm. he should be there by himself. But he's, he's actually there with a bunch of other people. I, uh, kind of, but it's all circumstantial. I know, but Because they're trying to make it into something that it makes sense that he's there. Because how does Superman originally find it? He gets like a piece of glass and throws, See, it, throws it in the Arctic and it goes boom. Yeah, that's stupid. Why was he in the Arctic to begin with? Why is he in the Arctic? Yeah, in see, because he was doing a job with people. So there you go. Here's your choice: totally bogus, stupid reason to be up there, it's or a legit reason that makes solitude. sense. He tried. Solitude. He tried to be in solitude. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work because that girl, nosy reporter, which is yeah. what they are, was after him. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It all makes sense. I understand your beef that it's like breaking your childhood up and all this <laughs> good stuff. But. Yeah. So then they, uh, he saves her life. When they're, they're Why? So she don't die. Why was she going to die? <laughs> she was a bet. To cease to live. From what? The oh, machine yeah. thingy. It's like a security bot. Yeah. It floats it, around. Right. That's something that's cool is they've got a, uh, from the beginning of the movie and uh, what's her name? Superman's mom is all prego. Laura. And she's going to have the baby mm -hmm. and uh, she's on this table mm -hmm. and next to her, it looks like um, almost like the fluid bags you have on the trees at the hospital. Right. It's like this droopy baggy thing with little yeah. like dangly things. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. And those are like multifunction robot mm -hmm. things that are sentient and do all kinds of cool stuff. And right. it was one of those, I think, on the ship as a security system. Yeah. So if you don't do something right, which she didn't. She's going to bleed to it, death. It attacks you mm -hmm. a lot. Does his heat vision over yeah, a wound. Yeah, which is cool. She's in pain, but he I saved think that's her life. Cool. Yeah. I like how they show his powers in this. I think they do that really well. I do, well. too. Uh, I th actually think probably, besides uh, the big battle, my favorite scene in the movie is when um, Superman starts to fly. Oh, actually, man, when he's in emotional. The, when he's in the really? Fortress of Solitude, too, he talks to his, uh, talks to his father. Yep. Who he, that, that's a really cool scene, too, because he goes, even though they've already explained some of this, mm -hmm. well, actually, you watched some of this, then he kind of explains what you've already seen, which mm -hmm. I could see is a little repetitive, but it didn't matter because I thought it was really cool. He, they show all almost like hieroglyphics of uh, the oh, history yeah. of, of Krypton and how he became to be, and and he tells them, you know, you have to have like have to to, to grow and become who you can be. Mm -hmm. You have to like really push your limits, and then that's when he puts his fist on the ground. Oh, that's on, awesome. Boom. And you see, like, he's got his fist on the ground, and the, like, wind, like a dust ball starts yeah. to swirl. Like, energy is just mm -hmm. twisting around his hand. These little dirt particles yeah. and tiny little rocks start yeah. swirling around. That is freaking awesome. And, and, and I'm flies. not, like, a fan, fan girl kind of person. Bam! So he flies off, and I really like that. It really showed, like, the power of him flying. Mm -hmm. And it's really, it seemed epic, which yes. a lot of parts of this movie did. Seemed like this epic deal that he... It wasn't just he's flying through the air. He's friggin' Through his own power of him, he's flying through the air. 
And so after this, then Lois Lane starts to uh, try starts to investigate, trying to find out who this guy is. Obviously, he's not a normal dude. He saved her life. So she also writes a, a report that uh, this is a thing from outer space. Mm -hmm. This is a guy from outer space. She's interviewing people all over the like, yeah. country. She's following his trail. Exactly. And um, Perry White, played by uh, Lawrence um, Fishburne, awesome actor. I've yes. always been a big fan of his. So he's like, I'm not going to, there's no way I'm going to let know. you print this crap. Yeah, yeah. Even if he thinks you know... it's true. But she, I think he thinks that she thinks it's true anyway. Yeah. That, uh, you know, it, if a paper would post them like that, it would ruin the paper. So she finally does uh, track down Superman. Not yes. that, not you know, to his what, home. Yeah. So it showed that she's also a good reporter, which she should be. Mm -hmm. Which that was a big problem with the previous one, Superman Returns. Mm -hmm. The Lois Lane character was so lame. Mm -hmm. She was like this ditzy girl, but dipshit. Yeah, Lois Lane is supposed to be like an actual reporter. Yeah, like, and, right? Yeah, yeah. Like she would actually have that job. Right, right. Yeah, and they go back and forth again, which. Um, I do think it is probably the best way because then it just shows little moments of his uh, childhood that mm -hmm. helped him uh, form the person that he is, yes. and sh it showed that his uh, father helped uh, we, his Earth father, which you know it's not his birth father, like but but he grew, but his he Earth raised father. Him. Yeah, I like that term. Yes, okay, Earth, Earth father. Yeah, that's cool. Well, he raised him, so he's yeah. much as bad as anybody else, in my opinion. So he raised him, and he he taught him a lot of things to be uh, to be human. Mm -hmm. and, he's uh, got to control himself. Can, that was a yeah. big thing. Yeah. It was a big theme for his childhood was his constant battle against his wanting to do good, really. Mm -hmm. Almost exclusively. I mean, there was like one time he went to like pound on a bully, which... <laughs> yeah, really and even his dad said, part of, me want, part of me wanted you to do it, yeah. but he, he knew he shouldn't. But for the most part, it's his dad saying, you know what, it doesn't matter what the circumstances are. Like one time he saved a bunch of kids that were going to drown on a bus. Yeah, I really like that too. I mean, that's an awesome scene anyway, yeah. but, but he's kind of seen... And he puts himself at risk by saving all these kids, because mm -hmm. people, if people see that, they know he's not a human being. Mm -hmm. And um, and the the one bully who actually did see it that changed him, and I really like that about about the movie. Yeah, the bully. Yeah, converting he, from he's, bullydom. He's not like a huge part of the movie, but he you see him throughout the movie. Yeah, he recurs. Different like er, the stages of his life. One one boy's a little older, and he's helping mm -hmm. out uh, Superman. And then he is an old man. He's not old man. He's a grown man, and he's got, like, a regular job. He seems like a good guy. Mm -hmm. So that incident uh, changed him. So Superman not only helped save his life, he actually helped change a guy. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty sweet. Yeah. He even asked him, like, should I have just let all those kids die? And he his said, I don't know. Said, like, yeah, maybe. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Because he's talking about how the world is going to... Mm -hmm. He's like going to be too, really almost like a monster where people are going to be afraid of yeah. him or they they're going to want to use him. They didn't make the dad totally right all the time, mm -hmm. which I thought was good too. He's a human being. Mm -hmm. He wants the he because he doesn't know the answers either. And He's he doing what that. in his head what he thinks yeah, he should do. Yeah, because it's uh, Superman is like a young adult still living with his parents, not expressing his powers yet, but he's with uh, his mom and his dad, and they're driving down the road, and they start they like get in a little spat, and Superman gives him shit about yeah. not being his real dad and he shouldn't listen to him and mm -hmm. the guy who plays the dad is kevin costner mm -hmm. and uh he did, he's uh, and he's he very could, good in the movie he was really good and i'm not usually a big kevin costner i'm fan. not either yeah. nor am i, I like really i actually fan like of, a lot of uh, kevin costner movies but i'm not really a big fan of kevin his. costner yeah i'm not really into russell crowe either no i'm and, not either yeah. but so yeah they're driving down the road and superman clark insults dad and yeah, it's kind of and a dad, real human. Dad really thing, like, though. yeah, but he holds himself together instead of being, you know, talk, you know, yeah. saying something and saying, "Don't talk back to me." He's just admitted. He's like, you know what? You didn't come with an instruction manual. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. So, so was, re, which led to one scene which we really differ on. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was. I just really thought it was corny. It was. Uh, I thought it was beautiful. They were saving. They were saving everybody. The tornado was coming. Yeah, they're, they're saving going everybody. That, that yeah, and they're telling everyone to go in the other pass, and that's cool. And then uh, Kevin Costner's character's dad, he goes back to the, to the car to get get the dog out, which right away I actually thought was kind of cheesy. You wouldn't do that. I, I know, but I'm just. Would I, you do that? Yes, but I, I think okay. the, the way it was <laughs> set, the way it was set up was I thought it was kind of. 
Like so, like you would do it. He's got to. He's not. He's would you do saving it? a dog. Would you then do he's it? gonna sacrifice himself. So yeah. So his, but it so makes his, sense. I know, but I just thought it was. I thought it was a little too over the top. Like too like trying. Because his dad's a good guy. And then 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 even the little wave to to top it off. I no, that like, makes sense. If you okay, so what would you do? Let's say you were out in a tornado and your family was not, back. Let's just say, okay. for argument's sake, mm-hmm. Neil Jones is in the position of Kevin Costner. Let's say right. your mom and your brother were the passengers in your vehicle. Yeah. And they went to safety. And for whatever reason, you were the one that decided to go. Maybe they chose to not go for the dog, and you chose to mm-hmm. go for the dog. And you go to get the dog. You get trapped. All this stuff. You, you get out of it. The tornado's coming, and whoever there could potentially save you. But you don't want... Yeah, them I just, to risk themselves. I understand all that I just because you it love them. Like the, I just thought it was like such this moment that would it was just designed to get this the get this uh, emotion from you, and it just seemed it, I just didn't buy into it. Was it was corny? Oh, I really enjoyed that part. I I know you did. I'm telling them. I know you know Jesus <laughs> Christ. Calm down, calm down. We're Don't be so like reactive nice to my describing my own personal experience. My goodness. Right. So, uh, so I really liked it. I actually got emotional. I thought it was. Be- I do. I think I it know. was beautiful. I really do. Mm-hmm. I was very emotional. Thought they did a good job. And a lot of those things, I don't. I don't buy in. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't buy into a lot of stuff like that. But the yeah. way they. Well, then the you way, understand I mean, you saying. saw Kevin not... Costner mm-hmm. as the father through, I mean, until the guy was like 20. And he's always been that kind of person. The whole entire, consistently mm-hmm. good, like a lawful good human being. <laughs> there you go. Yes. And a lawful good human <laughs> being would be compelled to save that dog. Uh, you're not turning to me on this one. It's up to you to be ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, See, you got nothing to say. No, on I was going to say, if I, if I said that to her, she'd be like, <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, see, see. You're not allowed to talk to me like that. That's uh, why. I see. I see. I see. Close enough. Yeah, we got we'll it. Probably improved. We it. nailed it. Yes. If we did. To the wall! That's the way it should have been. Right? Mm-hmm. Zod's coming in. All right. They free the, 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 uh, the phones, TV, they're, they're oh, scrambled. Oh, yeah. The ship's coming through the sky. Yeah. You are not it's alone. It's intense. Yeah, that's really, that part is actually really I, intense. Yeah, it is. And you do know what's coming, but at the same time, like you were saying, like, in that neighborhood, like, first it's, Clark and his mom and their house, all the lights go out, all yeah. the power's cut, except for the TV. The TV goes to static, and it says, you are not alone. Mm-hmm. And there's a voice, and it's just this monotone, creepy, yeah, you are not alone. you're going to die voice. Yeah. And it's all over the world, in all different languages, on mm-hmm. every TV. And My it, question being, what happens if you're not out in the TV area? Yeah, because they usually show people like out in tents watching TV. Yeah. And it was really cool that his signal wasn't coming in really well. Mm-hmm. Zod, he demands, he wants he wants the other person that is like him, his other alien being, Superman, and he will leave Earth alone. Otherwise, he's going to kill the whole planet. So Super- he has vengeance against Kal-El for uh, yes. what his father did yeah. back on the planet. I like this, too, about Zod, because he claims that he was, he was raised and born to be a warrior to only... Think about the well-being of uh, of his people. Kryptonians. Yeah, but he is also really compelled to get vengeance and kill the son of Jarrell. So even though in his mind he's he's only got this one goal, he really doesn't. Mm-hmm. And a lot of what he does is overshadowed by his own uh, his own uh, vengeance. Yes, I like that. He's a, he's a, he's a uh, he's a flawed person. He's a flawed he character. Epic battle. I was. I honestly think none, none, none comes into my mind. I'm gonna say it's the best uh, comic book fight scene I've seen. In oh movie. yeah, I didn't fall asleep during it. That says a lot. Usually, yes. the any kind of intense, long-winded action scene, mm-hmm. I get out. I'm just, I'm yeah. done. It doesn't. It doesn't. For whatever reason, I'm not really big on that either. Like to be honest, to yeah. Me. Epic scale, just mono mono, and. 
total destruction, like, it showed really the power, and we talked about this before, the CGI in this fight scene, where a lot of things it's missing, like the weight and the power of things, yeah, and you normal, can tell it's... The average CGI Yeah, it's movie. not... It doesn't it's not look. really there. But this really felt like these were guys were destroying these buildings. And yeah. I like that, too, because they're so powerful. One would punch the other one, and they would go through, like, a multitude of, uh, of buildings. Yeah, and now normally I would hate that. There's mm -hmm. so many movies, like, any, any of the newer Marvel movies, they do crap like that, and I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. It To me, that is cheesy. It's done... And it's boring. Like any stuff the Hulk does, bounce around and fucking breaking shit. I don't, I don't like it. But this, I think, it because they didn't make it like a cartoon. All that stuff happened no, it, because those characters are actually legitimately powerful, and they're the way they're depicted. It's not a joke. It's not like ha ha. ha. There's no like little puns thrown in. And every it's two fucking people that you're invested in. Minutes. It's two characters you're invested in. <laughs> you really like the Avengers, but at the end of the Avengers when they're just fighting all these faceless mon monsters coming through yeah. and there's, they're never oh, ending aliens. you don't care because it's like you care about the, you know the Avengers you know them and they're just fighting these mindless faceless things and you know they're going to beat them and they just keep coming that's not interesting no. and uh, I really liked when um, Zod found his, uh, his, his uh, energy through his eyes mm -hmm. because it was just from just total rage within him mm -hmm. he, he, all, his, all his people were killed now at this point they lost the Codex, which we didn't talk about, but the Codex was basically they, they implant this in Superman, which was um, it was all like the, the blueprints for for their race to mm -hmm. bring them back. And this is what Zod wanted to do. He wanted to, he wanted to recreate uh, their race and their planet on Earth. And uh, his he couldn't his uh, his plans were were done at this point in time. All his people were dead besides him and him and um, and Superman. So he had nothing else to, in his mind that his goal could not be accomplished. Mm -hmm. Just pure rage. And then, bam, through that rage was, like, personified through his eyes into the blast. And I thought it was pretty sweet. I agree. I mean, I can make this really easy. I really love that film. I thought it was one of the best movies I've seen in a damn long time. Really, really liked it. And I'm, you know, like I was saying, I'm not really into the comic book movies. Mm -hmm. I really like not. Them. I just think, you know, I just feel like this one, more of a drama to this. The characters are believable. Like, I like the Dark Knight stuff because it has that, it has a realism oh, yeah. aspect that you don't, it's not just like I like a, the Dark Knight a lot better than this, but, yeah. but, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, which I get that, you know, comic books are, you know, lots of kids like comic books, I get that, but I think this is done in a way that you can enjoy as, as a kid. And as an adult, it's not just a bunch of stupid puns put together and one-liners and. So I, I will say I didn't like I didn't like the actor who played Superman. Yeah, I, I, I know, think I he don't get I think that. he really looked the part, but I I don't think he was a good actor. Yeah, I I would really I would be interested in seeing some of it again just so I can review that because I remember when you mentioned that to me I just thought you were fucking nuts, <laughs> really did I mean. The mm -hmm. guy definitely looks the part. His doesn't have... I mean, I understand that he's not particularly exciting. But no, I don't Superman really find him very charismatic. Like, he, I mean, who would you have play that role? I don't know. I'm just saying... You know? I, I don't know. I'm just saying the guy playing him, I, I didn't think was a particularly good actor. I think the guy played Zod's a good actor, and I know I've yeah. seen him in other things. But, but that's an over-the-top kind of character. Superman isn't. He's a real... Personality-wise, he's very mild. He yeah. doesn't have. Well, a he's a mild-mannered uh, reporter. See, I I just didn't think he was particular. I thought a lot of his delivery and lines were just just kind of there, like just kind of set him. I I didn't like him. That's all. That's cool. Yeah, I like him. I thought I thought he did a great job. I thought the look was awesome. I thought his delivery was awesome. I think there was a lot of subtleness to it. Um, but it was good. I mean, the guy was driven to be good and he had moments where he got ang like as when he was a kid they showed like he was in a classroom one day and his senses got overwhelmed he had to hide in the broom closet and and getting angry about it and getting angry with his mom and learning how to control and being under pr the pressure all the time learning how to control himself and then how that panned out in his future that he was so compelled to do good that he was a drifter 
and he'd have to go to different places in the country just so that people wouldn't recognize him and hold down a job. And I thought the way that he pulled, I think he did a good job pulling off. He's no, he's very different from like a Christopher Reeves type. Mm -hmm. You know, Christopher well, I Reeves think Christopher is got, to more me, is, he's more charismatic. Yeah, but I don't, I feel like he's charismatic in a different way. I, Superman as a hero doesn't joke around. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're reading about Superman in a comic, he's not like that. He's mm -hmm. more of like a plain, plain personality wise. Mm -hmm. What? To me, I just, um, the character looks cool. I mean, he looks like Superman from a mm -hmm. comic, but it, I just didn't really get like a, a presence from him, like that he's a very charismatic person. Mm. That's all. I know. In, in my opinion, I the following yours is that he's good. All right. It was a long, I think it was like a three Yeah, it was like movie. three, almost nearly it's three hours. It was a long, film. long movie. And it held my interest, no matter, even in the big fight scenes, it's a big deal for me. Um, good dialogue. It's, they made, they did make a lot of changes, I think, and yeah, I'll be honest. I, I, I liked I, how they did it because I think there, you couldn't keep, you couldn't hold to the original story. You'd have to change it, so you could change it to it's kind of like trying to be. What yeah, it used it's, to it's be. still in the same universe and the same, the same basic concepts. Mm -hmm. But they, I, I think it's good that they changed some stuff anyway, or otherwise, because we've seen a lot of. A lot of uh, origins of Superman movies, mm -hmm. and you just don't want to keep telling the same exact story. Yeah. So change it up a little bit to, uh, so you're telling the same story but in a little different way. How many peds for Man of Steel? For Man of Steel, I will give a five. I really, really liked it. There's really even, not even any question for me. I really enjoyed this movie. It's not a perfect movie. But it's, for me, it's really close. And this really is not my genre. I'm really, this is not something I normally like. I really, 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 really like yeah. it. I enjoyed myself. There was a, I guess I didn't like the guy who played Superman. And uh, I love Zod. I thought mm -hmm. Zod was awesome. And, um, but overall, and the, the fight scene was awesome. So I'm going to go 3.5. Peds here. For the Men of Steel. All right. That's not bad. Yeah. So, it's the, I think that's the biggest split we've ever had. I believe so. Yeah. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, this is like your onions. <laughs> it's not a war. I didn't get a one. That's true. I did like, I did like a lot of it. It's your junior onion. So, uh, so I'm exhausted. So, you're not going to hate me if we, disappoint, if we disagree on movies, are you? No. All right. Because <laughs> you know better. <laughs> I know better. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Than to disagree with me. <laughs> Day. I had a great time. I had a great time as well. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy we caught this. I am too. And uh, I'm glad we got to go to the do the Superman thing. Yeah, it's nice. the beautiful theater. Yes. Oh, I love that. For be our go-to. That's going to be our go-to theater, theater for, uh, for, for new films. Yes. This so, is wonderful. Yeah, so maybe you'll enjoy World War Z. <laughs> uh, good food. Good uh, drinks. Mm -hmm. Good friends. And good, good times. Can't take this is too much for them. They can't take us. We just wanna be their friend. They can't take this is too much for them. They can't take us. We just wanna be their friend. Sunglasses in the morning, at night so I can, so I can. That's not dance moves, dude. That's singing. I didn't ask for that. You can stop. Where's this, where's the dancing? It's pretty much like what you're doing, isn't uh, it? Similar. Mm-hmm. Similar. You got more of like a. I don't know. Oh, Was well. that your head dance? Whoop <laughs> whoop whoop. Beep,
like a man. And then what happens after that? Yes, exactly. I knew the rest of the song, mm-hmm. word for word. Really? Rocket Man, murder, 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 murder. That's yes. my Rocket Man. Yes, I agree. Yep. And I think it's gonna be a long, long oh, time. Oh. Touchdown so, brings me around. I get too fun. I'm not the man I think I am at all. Oh no, no, no! no. I'm, I'm a Rocket Man. man. Rocket man, burn a 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 bur